So, when I saw this today, I thought to myself, alright, well, let's get Bayless talking. And whenever Skip Bayless talks, my brain just turns off. So it, it's, a, it's like an automatic defense mechanism, right? Because I know whatever he says. 99% of the time is about the Cowboys. 99% of the time is illogical. There's a 1% of the time that things actually make sense. So, on Undisputed today, we have our typical clown, idiot, stupid, this guy, Keyshawn Johnson... Who, if you have seen him before in any show, all he does is bash the Cincinnati Bengals. He is so smart. Let me tell you this. This is why I call him an idiot, okay? Because I don't like to call people an idiot. I don't like to offend people. But here's why he's an idiot. He said last year, right, his biggest problem about Joe Burrow last year was, he said, Joe Burrow never has won a division. And when I mean last year, I mean this season. Okay, I mean this season. He said earlier this season that Joe Burrow never won a division. And that he's not good enough because he can't even win the AFC North. And if you have any brain cells, you know Joe has won the AFC North twice. So, you see why I call him an idiot? Like, I try my best not to call people idiots, but when you say that you're... When your defense is that he hasn't won the AFC North one time... I have a, By the way, I have the whole thing on my channel if you want to check it out. Um... Yeah, he's an idiot, an absolute idiot. And Skip Bayless even had to like correct him, be like, I, I think he did win the AFC North. I, I believe he did. Like, dude, he just talks a talk. Nonetheless, though, this is not about idiot man himself or about Michael Irvin. This is about Skip Bayless. So Skip Bayless talks about, and I had to go ahead and cover half the screen because to take down my video if I don't. He talks about Joe Burrow and how if. He stays healthy. Patrick Mahomes is gonna have to is gonna have a very much of a struggle. So let's go ahead and listen up to Skip Bayless. I never thought I'd say that statement out loud. I'm gonna give you 40, percent but a lot of things are gonna change because if Joe Burrow stays healthy, just because it, it, just the same way that San Francisco, T Higgins ain't gonna be there. Okay, that's okay, what I said. They're gonna okay, move. a lot of pieces uh, gonna but, move. But just the same way that that Mahomes. I gotta stop this real fast because I this is where I kind of have to. Give my thoughts and opinions on this one. He just said, well, T. Higgins is not going to be there. Now, that was Michael Irvin, right? And obviously, that's his prediction, right? I don't understand why these analysts... And I guess they do it just because, like, you know, it, it gets views. It gets a talking points. It's like, you know, oh, they can kind of hope on the fact that T. Higgins is going to leave us. And that is their way to kind of, you know, keep talking about the point. But, like... I, how does not how does everyone not know we're gonna franchise tag him? Like that's pretty damn obvious that we're gonna franchise tag T Higgins, because every year you can use a franchise tag on one said player. What would on God's green earth would we franchise? Who would we franchise tag over T Higgins? Nobody. Like I, I don't really ever understand that perspective, that narrative that we're not gonna franchise tag T Higgins. And even if, let's say, hypothetically speaking, we didn't. Let's say we lost T. Higgins to Tennessee, right? You don't think we would then draft a wide receiver very high in the draft? Still have Jamar Chase. Still have Yoshi. Still have Trent Irwin. And, like, there's so many different options there. But I digress. Let's listen to the rest of the skip. Mahomes has had San Francisco's number because he's now 4-0. Oh. Joe Burrow has had Mahomes' number. And it, it doesn't matter to me. Who you get. As long as he's got Jamar Chase, they are serious business. And when he was healthy this year, remember they went to San Francisco and just he put on a clinic out there. He is capable of 17 points we beat San Francisco by. We would have beaten by more, but Irv Smith fumbled in the red zone before halftime. Shout out to Irv Smith, trash can. Of going into yeah. Arrowhead and winning because I saw him do it in an AFC championship game. He's capable of going up to Josh Allen and winning because I saw him do it in a playoff game. And speaking of Josh Allen, I agree with you. It sounds like Diggs is gone, but that he's just, he's too talented not to be some factor here. And remember, that game up there this year, it went down to a 41 yard yes. missed field goal by Tyler Bass, their kicker. If it goes through, we might be having a different conversation. We would have a great Super Bowl if um, that kick was good by Tyler Bass because we would all become Bills fans, <clears throat> even though we own the Bills and, and they are our children. 
um, the Bills and the Chiefs are our children. Um, even though that is the case, we would be rooting for our child in um, Buffalo if they would have won. As we speak, and then it brings me full circle to Lamar Jackson. I just, I still can't get it through my head that Lamar lost to Patrick Mahomes. At I don't really see how he can't get that one through his head. Listen, I think Lamar Jackson is a great quarterback. He's one of the best in the league, but he's not clutch. Neither is Josh Allen, neither is Lamar Jackson. They're great quarterbacks. If I had to list off quarterbacks, I'd say, you know, obviously Joe, Mahomes, Josh Allen, and then probably Lamar Jackson. They're both top five quarterbacks. They're just not clutch. They can't get it done in the clutch. They can't finish the job. They can get there and they, well, not get there to the Super Bowl, but they can get there to big moments, but then they choke up and fall apart. And I think if Lamar and the Ravens had to play a wild card, then divisional, they probably would have lost in the divisional. But they got, though, obviously, first round by, which they deserved, right? Then they went ahead and snuck past the divisional opponent, which was a rookie quarterback and a rookie head coach, got to a championship against a real team and lost. It is what it is. This the Ravens are not Lamar's not gonna be able to ever win a Super Bowl. It's just it's a fact of the matter is. And that's not me saying that because I'm hating. And again, same thing with Josh Allen. And I don't hate Josh Allen in any way. I respect both the quarterbacks. I actually like Josh Allen. I think he's a great quarterback. Even I think Lamar is too, but I mean I like Josh Allen as a player too. Um, but it, they're not clutch. They're not clutch. They're never going to be clutch. It, it's just, it is what it is. I don't know why he got, he's so confused how the Chiefs beat him. The Chiefs are a better team. Mahomes is a better quarterback than Lamar Jackson. And at the end of the day, the better quarterback always wins. Baltimore. I just can't believe it. And I think they will be very, at least as good next year, if not a little better. It would be interesting because... I will say this. So Skip gives the Chiefs a 40% chance to repeat in a three-peat year if um, what's called if uh, Burrow is 100% healthy. And I agree. If Burrow is not 100% healthy, not going what side, um, then there's a 100% chance that the Chiefs are going to go win the Super Bowl a third time. I think the 100% chance. If Burrow's not there to stop them, there's a 100% chance they're going to win a Super Bowl. Because there is no one, and I repeat, no one in the AFC, no one in the NFC, no one in the NFL that's going to stop Mahomes from winning another Super Bowl outside of Joe Burrow. Number nine is the only way that Joe Burrow will not, I'm sorry, that Mahomes will not win another Super Bowl. And if Joe's fully healthy, 100% healthy, I give Mahomes a 10% chance to go win a Super Bowl. If Burrow plays the whole entire season, 10% chance to go to the Super Bowl. If he can't, 100% chance. Because, again, like I said, there, there's just one player. And maybe that will change. C.J. Stroud's getting really good. And C.J. Stroud's really progressing and moving up the ranks. And I hope we get to a point where now he's the reason why. And I think eventually he will be the reason why that, um, you know, uh, Mahomes can't win a Super Bowl. But that one right there, you see right behind me? That number nine... That's the reason. C.J. Stroud would get better, though. And, but outside of C.J. Stroud, there's no quarterback in the AFC or NFC that is good enough to stop Mahomes. Just is not. And, again, hopefully Caleb Williams, Drake May, one of these guys will become that. But it's going to take them a couple years. And even then, it's going to be difficult. So, I'll be interested to see how it all ends up and how it all works out. But, shout out to the Chiefs. We're running another one. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.